Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to create a recovery partition in Windows PC or laptop by the simplest way. Recovery partition is the major and important partition of the Windows. Okay, if anything happened to your Windows operating system, your Windows is crashed or anything happened, you, you cannot log into your PC, then you can choose that recovery partition to get your Windows back. Okay, that is very important partition and we are going to create a recovery partition. First of all, here is the my hard disk. I just close it. I just go to the here start. Right click on the start and just go to the disk management. Okay. Now here is the our disk management. Okay. Now here we find our all hard disks and the pen drive CD or all other things like a hard disk. Okay. Here is the two hard disks. All are uh, five, five, 500 GB. Okay. Now I want to create a recovery partition at here. You can create recovery partition at any drive okay here c d e g i want to create a recovery partition after c drive or d drive or e drive i want to create after c drive so i just go to the right click on the c drive and just go to the shrink volume i get some space from the c drive so i just go to the shrink volume i want to create a 1 gb space so i just go to the 1 2 0 1 2 0 4 okay and just click on the screen and it's create 1 gb free space or the drive okay here is the unlocated space of the 1gb so i create a new drive so i just right click on it and just go to the new sample value okay now just go to the next just go to the next don't give the letter don't assign drive letter or the driver path just select that and just click on the next here just name it system Just type at here system reserve and just click on the next and just click on the finish. Now our system reserve partition is created. Now our next next option is we has to find our system recovery recover this or the system record file. Okay, I already disable my system reserve file, so it goes to I just find it at here. Just go to the this PC. I disable already. And I will show you how we disable our system result. Okay. So I just go to the C drive. Okay. And here I find Windows. I just go to the Windows. Here I just go to System 32. Just go to the System 32. In System 32, just go to the recovery. Here is the recovery. And here we find one file named Wind re.wim. Okay. If you not find this file, then just go to the view. Just go to the options. And change the options and here is the folders option just go to the view here just go to the hide file and folder and just click on show hidden files folders and drivers okay and uncheck hidden prote hidden protector operating system files and click on yes and apply it okay now here we find win rew im file dot wm file okay we can show if you not find this file then i can show you how can see this file at this folder okay now minimize this just go to the start just type cmd right click on the command prompt run as an administrator run as an administrator is the important click on the yes here is the our command prompt with the administrator permissions now just type regent c just type regent c then slash info and hit enter key on your keyboard if you find windows re status is enable then we want to disable this so just type regent c then black slash then just type disable and hit enter key on your keyboard and your regent c is disabled or the, your file is moved to the that folder okay recovery folder now we can find our file at this and we want to move this file to our system record uh, reserve okay now that is very easy and the simple way first of all we check our disk here is the my disk i want to move to this disk so i just go to this disk i right click on it and just go to the properties here we find volume here is the volume and this is an mbr partition this is an mbr partition at this zero and we want to change the idea of this partition we want to 
give the id 27 it is the system reserve id so it is can automatically move that file to that system reserve okay that is the way okay click on the okay now just go to the our cmd once again and this time just type this part and hit enter key on our keyboard here is the our disk part now just type list disk we find our all disk list okay we can find our all disk here we find two disk first is the zero and second is the one i know this is the my first link first hard disk so i just go to the list number zero okay here is the disk number zero is the our first link first disk and disk number one is the our second disk okay or the disk number zero is the our windows disk okay now i just type select disk zero and hit enter key now our first number disk this disk is selected this zero is selected now i just type list partition it shows us a all partition in our hard disk here I find all partition on my hard disk and here is the my partition number 04 it is an 1 GB partition 1024 MB it is an our 1 GB partition I want to select this partition so I just type select partition then number of the our partition so I just type select select partition and the number of our partition in this case this is 4 this is the our 4 number partition so I just type 4 and hit enter key on our keyboard just type select partition and the enter key on the keyboard okay now partition 4 is now selected now <coughs> we want to detail of this partition so i just type t e t p a r okay detail partition and here we find detail partition of our hard disk here is the detail partition of our hard disk now we just go to the uh, just go to the our set id is equal to 27 now we want to set our id to 27 so i just hit enter key on my keyboard it's take few minutes okay now this part successfully set to partition id if you using gpt hard disk means here is the go to the property of your hard disk and just go to the volumes at here here we find partition style if you find partition style is gpt here is the my mbr if you find gpt then use this command then instead of set id is equal to 27 use this command use this command and if it not work then use this command okay that is the our solution for the gpt user gpt hard disk user now i just go to the detail partition and hit enter key and here we find our type is equal to 27 before is 07 now it is in 27 now we just exist from this disk part and hit enter exit and this uh, exit from here just type exist and exit from the your disk part now just type reagent c just type reagent c then just type slash and enable now we are going to enable our disk part so our file is moved from that recovery folder to the our recovery disk so i just press enter key on our keyboard now our operation is successful we just go to the our folder now here we not find any file name w i n r e okay so it is moved to the our system reserve okay now we just go to the exit now i just minimize it and i just restart with the shift just press the shift key on our keyboard just go to the power and restart my machine with the holding shift key now i just go to the my recovery here we find troubleshoot it is put by the our recovery disk okay now just go to the troubleshoot here we find advanced option just go to the advanced option here i just go to the command prompt it restart our pc just go to the your account add your password now here is the our command prompt it is boot by the our recovery disk so guys this is the simplest way to create a recovery partition in a windows pc or laptop by the simplest way so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys